to Today on 2. It's Monday, the fourth day of February. The Super Bowl last night. That's right. I guess everybody stayed up and watched. How many millions actually watch? How, well, much, how much does the, the water go down when everybody goes to the bathroom at the uh, <laughs> same the, time? <laughs> to me, the interesting statistic, now I don't know if this is right or not, but they said more people watch the Super Bowl then go vote in the election. Oh, I believe that. I honestly believe that. So maybe they ought to tie them together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then nobody would want to get out and go vote on the day of Super Bowl. I well, mean, you see, you, so. You do it on the Internet during halftime or oh, something. Oh, yeah. Well, know. now that might be a possibility. But, boy, wouldn't that be a nightmare. Oh, goodness. I could vote ten times if I wanted to. Well, that's true. <laughs> Just like, like if you lived in Chicago. I, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, let's check the weather forecast, see what's going on this week. Our weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Make the switch to Mitch. The weather almanac for the 4th of February. The average high is 55. The average low is 29. The record high is 74 in 1962. The record low, 4 degrees in 1951. Sunset this afternoon at 521. Sunrise tomorrow morning at 641. There's the satellite picture. Looks like rain headed our way. Lower. Maybe a little bit of rain next few days. Here's a satellite picture over the southeast and the forecast. Mostly sunny today, becoming windy, a high of 51. 30% chance of rain tonight, low near 41. Partly sunny tomorrow, slight chance of rain in the morning with a high of 55. Then warming up into the 60s. Wednesday, sunny, 62. Thursday, partly sunny, 50% chance of rain, a high of 60. Friday, 55. Saturday, 57. Sunday, 62. Definite change in the weather. Yeah, definitely. And it looked like we had a couple of days of 50% chance of rain and then none, and then 50%, mm -hmm. so who knows. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And no storms. At least that's that's the thing we can look yes, at. Yes, that's good. That's a real good. Well, thing. let's see. Did you see much of the game last night? I saw the second half. I kind of well, that was good. Yeah, I kind of goofed and thought that it wasn't going to start till later. I was watching a movie, and so I just thought, okay. And then when I did, did you watch the, after the power outage or before? Oh, uh, I did watch before the power outage. I did get to see that 109 yard touchdown yeah, that he made. That was I good. saw that. Yeah. That was very good. And you know, I'm not an NFL football watcher I just don't but um, but you know just because Michael Orr is on the Ravens I was kind of rooting for the Ravens <laughs> Michael Orr of course the blind side the movie all oh, that kind of stuff okay. yeah okay I was so, going to say there were two former Alabama players on the Ravens also oh, okay see I didn't uh -huh. even know that yeah Terrence Cody and uh, Courtney Upshaw okay both very good. in the starting defense for the Ravens so okay. another reason to root for that's the Ravens. right exactly exactly and so they won the ball game right and I'll, they definitely lost their momentum after the power outage that's for sure it just you know well the, according to the announcers but I kept thinking about the fact that no it was halftime they only played about oh. a minute in the second half and the power went out I thought Everything took place after halftime. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. think power outage had anything to do with it. No, well, maybe not. And what did you think of Beyonce's performance? That yeah, was good. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. guess I'm not, I don't watch much Beyonce. I don't listen to her music much. Well, yeah, so. I didn't know any of the songs, no, but the special either. effects were good. Oh, yeah, and, mm -hmm. and a very attractive lady, oh, very, yeah. very pretty, and mm -hmm. I like their costumes and everything, and yep. uh, at least we didn't see any bare body parts. That was good, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> whatever. So, anyway, it was Okay, good. well, let's see. Who's our Facebook friend of the day for today? Let's take a look at that. It looks like Stephanie Goodwin is a Facebook friend, and she likes... Leonard Skinner and Patsy Cline. <laughs> That's an interesting that combination. That is an interesting combination. I look all lopsided today. Let's see. I'm trying to fix this scarf. Uh, but that's pretty good for her. That's, you know, everybody's got, I like different, I like classical and well, I like country. Say, so. I, like both, I like both of those too. Yeah. That, that's good. Okay, who's coming to see us today? Well, Christopher Smith is going to be here today. And he is, of course, uh, here to promote Coleman High School's big band dance. I think this is the eighth year. Is that correct? Did I? Or that? more. Is it more? I don't okay. know. I was thinking it would be. Okay. We'll anyway, that's exciting, and that's coming up this weekend. And so, of course, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. You're going to want to treat your special someone. This is a great way to treat them. That's a good idea. Yeah. George Spear is here with news and commentary right after this. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers.
We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Time for news and commentary. If you'd like to share your thoughts on some of these stories, give us a call. Don't forget, we're streaming live, channel2coleman.com. It's where you can reach us. The owner of a local flea market in Coleman, according to the uh, uh, Coleman Times, this local flea market and farm equipment business has been sentenced to prison time and monetary fines for a six-count conviction on receiving stolen property uh, handed down by a Coleman County jury last year. We're talking about Lionel Bates, who has a flea market out on, uh, close to 278 near I-65. Apparently, uh, there was a time when he had as many as 90 trailers that were stolen on his property out there. Ooh. Also, uh, had a town hall meeting last week. Uh, Representative Ed Henry, from but mostly represents Morgan County because he, of course, he's, he's representing more of Coleman County. And will uh, next time they uh, uh, draw the lines, uh, including West Point, he'll be representing those folks. Among the topics that the legislators uh, talked about last week was, uh, I guess, the retirement systems of Alabama in bad shape or at least need help from the general fund for the, uh, from the state, and that's not sitting too well. Uh, according to Ed Henry, the RS, RSA is hitting us for another $180 million to pay for all the retirees. He says, this to me is, takes away money from our children, and I guess many people would agree with that. Uh, and it's just a tough situation all the way around. There are some really a number of issues that the legislature is going to have to deal with this coming session, and they start tomorrow, right? Uh, among the issues, according to State Health Officer Don Williamson, he says Medicaid's going to need at least $685 million from the general fund to maintain health care uh, for 900,000 poor Alabamians next fiscal year. We're looking at significant, significant changes to whittle down the budget request because there's only so much money available, you know. It's interesting that no one's talking about tax increase, at least not that I've heard. I hope they don't. We all don't want that, especially when you consider what the feds are doing, you know, and their attempts uh, to, to uh, try to – they don't talk about balancing a budget. They talk about just trying to keep things going. Well, we lost someone this weekend that invented something I thought was quite unique. French electrician André Cassange. Yeah, back in 1950, he was working. He was an electrician. Put together the first Etch-A-Sketch. He has died <laughs> after 50 years or more. That's still a popular little toy to have. I still never have gotten it down. It's either an up or down type line that I draw. I can never get through any curves going straight, you know. 65 Arab school teachers have iPads and more will have them. A purchase of 120 more so teachers can have the latest in technology. Kids know so much more now. I mean, have a uh, relative three-year-old girl and she asks her mother what's your password 
you have to have a password because she's looking for those games. Kids, you know, really getting getting wrapped around the axle with those things. Speaking of wrapped around the axle, Ravens quarterback last night, CBS aired the boo-boo, used the F word. <laughs> I didn't watch the game. But we're so, uh, we're so desensitized, I believe, in society now. These things no longer surprise us. There was no time to cut it. So it just went right on out there. No one acknowledged it. Muhammad Ali's daughter says the Brits are not right. Her dad is okay. We, some of us still call him Cassius Clay. Wasn't that what his name was? I guess he's got Parkinson's disease. Muhammad Ali got Parkinson's. Saw him at one of those games, what, back, uh, was it the uh, championship game maybe? I believe it was. He had met possibly his daughter. I don't know. But he looked like he really was out of it. And I suspect that whenever you have those kind of diseases, you don't have any choice. You just have to survive and that's a difficult thing even for a heavyweight champion this former navy seal sniper chris kyle who was killed over the weekend trying to help a friend out with who had, had post-traumatic stress syndrome and uh, and all i don't know you look at that sort of thing and for those who have never dealt with it it really is a tough issue to overcome i can recall coming home from desert storm and from Vietnam, and you're just so, the adrenaline is so high because every day is a blessing because you realize that you want to live and you want to take and you want to win the odds, right? Not get shot, not get killed. And when you get home, it is difficult because everything is calm for the most part. I can remember a couple of weeks after coming home, I bought a little sports car, and because the adrenaline was so high, it was coming back from Huntsville to Coleman. And before I knew it, I was doing 100 miles an hour in that thing. You you get hooked on that surge, that sort of thing. And for some people, they can't control it. And for some people, it gets bad. And we're going to have a lot of people coming back from Iraq, from Afghanistan, young men. And just to be honest with you, based on my experience with the Birmingham Veterans Administration, they're going to need all the luck they can have, they can get. Stay tuned. More of today on 2 after this. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor our loan program to your specific needs and requirements. And I saw her the next morning, and when I went in to bring breakfast to her, I saw her feet in the floor, and I thought she was dead. The doctors had told me that I shouldn't drive anymore. I was happy about it, and I knew that I was not going to live with them. We had to do something, because Mother's health was just going down rapidly. They were as anxious as I was to get situated while I was still able to make some of the decisions myself. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Welcome back to Today on 2. We have some prizes to give away at this part of our show. We have the day pass to Hurricane Creek Park, and we also have the two-piece meal deal from Bojangles, leg thigh fixing and a biscuit. Good eating there from Bojangles. Those are the prizes for today. Let's look at some of our ads. I think we have some changes and maybe some new ads today. There's one up right there, Finders Keepers. All local vendors, two-story facility, and located just down the street from our studio on First Avenue Southwest beside J. Drake Salon. And the 
course uniform places featuring the Alegria shoes. They could step out in style with those fancy looking shoes. They're comfortable and they're very, very creative looking at the uniform place. The crew at Earl's Body Shop reminds you move over for emergency vehicles. They do towing, large and small towing, local and long distance. Earl's Body Shop on Highway 31 North. And Cups Accounting and Tax Service, quality service at reasonable rates. Check with Cups before you pay too much. Their personal business corporate farm and farm. Free e-file available credit and debit cards are accepted. Inspire the Heart, Valentine's Gifts available at Yates Chance Christian Bookstore, music, novels, my evil tablets, all sorts of gift items from the South Coleman Shopping Center. People's Tires Break and Alignment Center has a special every day. Check out those different specials. They're located right there at 1107 Catherine Street. They do tires, break, and alignment, do all kinds of things at People's Tires. Antique inspired heirloom jewelry available at Doug Dog Jewelers with genuine Swarovski crystals for your Valentine. Doug Dog Jewelers on Compass Way in Southwest Coleman. Deb's Bookstore. This is your hometown bookstore just down the road. Bro browsers are always welcome. Gift certificates are available. They make great gifts. Used books are half off and, and new books are 20% off. Mr. Hicks Menswear reminding you top coats on sale right now. One third off. Regular big and tall size top coats. Also cotton blend shirts. One third off. And Tires for Less is more than just tires. Of course, they feature Bridgestone and Firestone tires there, and you can go see Greg and the guys. They can do oil changes, minor engine repair, shocks, brakes, whatever you want. There we go with some of our merchant ads for today. Question today is about Dairy Queen. We show you nine items in the Dairy Queen ad, and you get a special price if you buy three or four or five. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. What is the cost if you buy three? Oh. Buy three okay. items, what do you pay? And you can pick any of the three out of the nine. What is the price? Our telephone number is 256-734-7399. And our prize for today is the day pass to Hurricane Creek Park and the two-piece meal deal from Bojangles. What is the cost of three pieces at Dairy Queen? And it is inexpensive. It really is. You know, I was afraid you were going to ask me what were the nine selections. I thought, gosh, I can't remember. <laughs> but I have just about anything on their menu, practically, they'll mix them up for you and stuff. It really is a good, good deal. Go by there for lunch. and. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It is so inexpensive that you can probably treat someone else. Yes, you could. For um, under... Valentine's gift. Yeah, for under 10 bucks for the two mm -hmm. of you. Yeah, that's... I'm giving you hits, guys. <laughs> okay. I figured I'd stump everybody yes, on this one did. for today. Nobody knows the answer. Let's look at the rest of our ads. Okay. Medical Arts Apothecary, a new advertiser with us, a trusted part of your family for 50 years. They're located on the uh, a block south of the Coleman County Courthouse. Medical Arts Apothecary. And Night Free Insurance, they're located at 410 First Avenue Southeast next to the old Ice House, right? Nightfreeinsurance.com is uh, what you can do. Check out their website. Barnett Tax Service, tax returns, electronic filing, bookkeeping services, serving Coleman for 41 years. That's uh, Elma Barnett. The office is located at 402 Main, a block north of the post office. Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center has that Whirlpool Spa. If you worked out all day, it sure is nice to relax in something like that. Indoor Leisure Pool is also available. This is year-round. Baldwin Counseling Center can help you with weight loss, individual or family counseling, lifestyle coaching. Call Dr. Howard Rogers for an appointment today. And Auto Tech, this is foreign and domestic repair and service. It's really sometimes hard to find for that foreign car, so this is a great place to go in their new location right there in Vinemont. There's the blizzard of the month, the Dairy Queen, chocolate covered strawberry blizzard. Ooh. And once again, the container's upside down. <laughs> It's so thick, it doesn't even run <laughs> That's out. Right. Mullins Body Shop, you've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and for towing. And guess what? You can still count on them today. The difference is not when you open our bottle, it's when you open our door. Borden Family Pharmacy on Highway 157, a good neighbor pharmacy. And Renard's Gallery and Gifts sells jewelry. They have prints available. They do a great job of framing. Go in there, do go browse around, look at all that they have to offer. They even have some clothing available. 
And let's see, it's time to check our birthdays for today. I think we have one birthday on the book. There we go. Judy Key is going to have a birthday today, and her name will be put into the drawing on Friday, where they have the possibility of winning an 8x10 portrait from Baker Photography and an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. And coming up next, Coleman High School Band Director Chris Smith. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. My name is Laura Ingalls, and this is my story. <laughs> Laura! Laura! Are you alright? you thought you saw? That's my daughter there. There isn't a deer here within a hundred yards. And the next time, keep your eyes open when you fire your gun. Understood? Fire, accident, storm, they all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliot and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with auto owners. Call Westcott, Elliot, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Karen. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Welcome back to Today on Two. We were just talking with Chris Smith, the Coleman High School Band Director. This is the 17th year of the Big Band Dance for Valentine's Day. I just got thinking that if you were a senior that first year, you might have a student who would play in the band today. Wow. Uh, it's possible. <laughs> Very possible. Yeah, you could have a you know a sure. child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And Chris, you said you've been there ten years. Now? Well, this is actually my ninth year. Old. Okay. Okay. Gosh, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah. I mean, you know, goodness, <laughs> yeah. we're all getting old, Chris. Now, now Chris, like you this. were a student. Did Did you play in the big band dance? No, they actually school? started the big band dance the year after I graduated, okay. so I never okay. got to play in it. Okay. okay. But I have gotten to conduct it nine times. <laughs> <laughs> you carried the tradition. Yes. I think good. it's amazing the students still enjoy that kind of music. Oh, yes. And, and, and it's really, really great that they, first of all, are able to be exposed to that kind of music. Right. But then also really enjoy it and get to share it with others in yes. a, a dance like this. And this is just a phenomenal event. It's great stage presentation for the kids, you know. I mean, oh, it's yeah. just like they're at a club or something performing. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it gives the, uh, an opportunity for the locals to come and, and have a dance and, and treat their special someone that night. Exactly. And I think it's a great event, and it's very inexpensive. It's, it is. It's only $6 a person or $10 for a couple, so wow. you get a deal. That's right. And it's just, a, like you said, a great community event where people from all over can come and get to be with the high school jazz band and have a great evening of music. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have a featured soloist or anything this year? Well, you there, usually do, there are a lot of soloists, and we have a vocalist, Allie Nunnally, but just about every section of the band has a two or three soloists throughout the evening because we play about 36 charts throughout, 36 songs throughout the mm -hmm. evening, so wow. there's an opportunity for just about everybody to get a solo in there. Now, whenever that's happening, do you pick out the soloist, or do they try to say, hey, I'd really like to do this, or how well, does that work? Well, a lot of times it goes to the first chair in the section, but sure. sometimes they fight over, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and have a little <laughs> challenge on who's going to get to be the soloist, but uh, sometimes I decide. There's a little bit of all of that involved in, the, in selecting the soloist. Okay. Now, first chair basically is somebody who has just excelled and has gotten to that point where yeah, you feel like they're there. They're, all these positions are by, the whole jazz band is by audition only, so the highest scoring uh -huh. trump. Trombonist is first chair trombone and so okay. on down the line in okay. each section of the group. 
Now, are you the judge, or do you have additional people that come help judge that? I, I'm the adjudicator for all the chair placements throughout all the Coleman High School band. Is that hard to do? It is because, you know, I love, I love them all, and I want them all to be <laughs> right. the first chair, but, you right. know, only one can do it. So. Right. So they have to strive for excellence then Absolutely. in order to well, be there. Our uh, motto, is, one of our mottos is uh, strive for perfection and you'll achieve superiority. So hopefully we do every day. Okay. All righty. And, of course, this is just one of the events that you guys do throughout the year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course, our marching band plays throughout the fall at football games. Our indoor drum line is competing right now. They had a competition this last Saturday. They play throughout the spring. And then our symphonic and concert bands play at state contest in March. So you're just a busy guy. All over the place all the time. Right. <laughs> well, give us just a few more details about the event that's ha taking place on February the 8th. I said eight years, but it's February the 8th, so yes, tell me. Yes, yes. It's uh, this Friday night, February the 8th, from 7 to 9. Uh, the jazz band's going to play. There's going to be uh, door prizes and refreshments, $6 per person, $10 for a couple. If you, have a, if you struggle with dancing, we're going to have some free lessons 30 minutes prior to the dance. The Holtz will be there, Yes, right? Scott and Jean Holt will be there. <laughs> they do a great job, and they'll just help you kind of just get back on the dance floor. And, That's right. Especially if you haven't done it for a while. Huh? Absolutely. Okay, so just show up. You don't have to buy tickets No, tickets are available at the door, and uh, let's come out and let's have a good time. All right, and it's a fundraiser for you guys. Absolutely, absolutely. All the proceeds go to the Coleman Band Program. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you, Chris, for being thank here. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you very much. We'll tell you what's going on around Coleman in addition to the big band dance right after this. In the nation, we can't make every annoying thing disappear. But we can eliminate deductibles. Nationwide insurance members who add vanishing deductible get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Join the nation where deductibles go. Nationwide is on your side. At 5 o'clock on the morning of August 19, 1934, the transcontinental train journey began, which was to be unique in history. Its destination was the new escape-proof prison on the island of Alcatraz. And its passengers were 54 case-hardened and desperate criminals, headed by the gangster overlord whose deeds had given him the undisputed title of public enemy number one, Scarface Al Capone. Selling cookies is about the big picture. You have to have a goal. A big goal. Something you and your team want to do in the world. We choose where the money goes. A trip. An adventure. Helping people out. Helping a lot of people out. And about the money, we are responsible for it. Handling it, managing it, tracking it, doing great things with it. This is business. Girl business. The biggest girl-run business in the world. Did you think this was just about cookies? Now it's time for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Are you ready for prom 2013? Get your prom makeover February the 7th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Just for Looks and meet Miss Coleman Area 2012 and 2013. Find your perfect prom look with 3B Artistry, Skin Care, and Cosmetics, the official beauty sponsor of Miss America. District 11 Candidate Forum on Saturday, February the 9th at the Coleman Elks Lodge from 11.30 to 1 p.m. Breakfast will be served at 7.30. The forum begins at 9. Forum will also be broadcast on 92.1 WKUL. Come join your local Coleman County Republican Party to support conservative values. Coleman High School Jazz Band will present the 17th Annual Big Band Dance on Friday, February the 8th at the Coleman Civic Center from 7 to 9 p.m. It's $6 per person, $10 per couple. Free dance lessons 30 minutes prior to the start of the dance. Come out to hear your favorite jazz standards. And if you have a community billboard you want to share, just send it to email, channel2coleman at gmail.com, fax 256-734-7680, or be a friend on Facebook, channel 2, spell out the number 2, Coleman. And the weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. It'll be sunny and breezy today, a high of 51, 30% chance of rain tonight, a low of 41. Sunny tomorrow, slight chance of rain in the morning with a high of 56. And before we talk about tomorrow, coming up next on today on or on Channel 2 will be Cooking with Teresa, brought to you by Traditions Bank. 
This will be a new episode. Teresa is going to be cooking for Valentine's. Ooh, I need to pay attention. Yes, a <laughs> lot of good recipes for Valentine's Day. Good. She's Who's a good, coming to see us she's tomorrow? She's a good cook. Carla Brower is going to be here from the Tudor Doctor, so we're going to visit with her tomorrow. That's our program for today. Thank you for watching Today on 2. Hope you have a great day.